Task Force TV, live from the 27th National Conference on LGBTQ Equality, Creating Change in Denver, Colorado. More from Creating Change 2015 here on Task Force TV. I'm hanging out with Monica and Carmen Rivera, who uh, not only are local here to our host city of Denver, but also were uh, important facilitators in today's day-long Racial Justice Institute. Thanks for hanging out for a few minutes. For sure, thanks. Thank you. And thanks for having us in your town. What's it like to have it here? Very excited. You know, it's my first time at Creating Change, and a part of that is because it's local, and so it was really nice to be able to jump in a car and come to something this big and awesome. What's, what are some of your thoughts? like? maybe the things you were excited about or wondering about even coming into creating change that uh, now that you're here it's uh, what, what are your thoughts so far yeah i feel like it was long overdue that i had come here because i've heard so many folks who have worked here, been here, been on the task force, have attended for many years, and um, really just wanted to be a part of the community. I've heard it's so welcoming and affirming, and on my first day I can attest that that's really true. <laughs> yeah. What are some of the important points that you uh, maybe made yourselves today or learned today and will take you with you at the uh, Institute? Um, I think for me, really just understanding how my socialization as a queer person um, really was highly influenced by whiteness. Um, even Carmen and I were sharing uh, just yesterday about how, you know, when I was first coming out, I had a lot of mentors and teachers who were very much like, you know, if your family doesn't accept you, there's a great community who will. And so this sort of very rugged individualism that I think is a part of whiteness and so Carmen was sharing that that's not necessarily the framework that she comes from as a woman of color and so um, I think especially around the Racial Justice Institute really just getting very clear about what are the messages and um, mentors and famous people that signify queerness for me that also at the same time are around whiteness and really center whiteness and so it's been good to spend the day getting clear on that. Yeah, and I think um, as an interracial couple, um, we kind of always talk about some of th these racial dynamics, but really I think highlighting that um, intersectionality and that we have multiple things happening for ourselves um, all the time, I think that that was one of the things that kind of rang through the whole day, and I think that that was really um, powerful to hear how my story is connected to other people and how other people are connected to mine, so yeah. So the two of you have been married for a handful of years now, but even here in a progressive state of, Cal of Colorado, there's still issues and there's always more work to be done, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we've just had a tragedy in the community of a young queer youth who was, um, you know, fatally shot by police. And so that is, that's a reality for um, communities across the country that I don't really think that people are immune from um, having that kind of um, oppression based on any given identity and so um, just really wanting to connect to that and to make sure that we don't lose sight of how important um, spaces like this are as well as the work that we continue to do um, beyond these these kinds of conferences or intentional conversations. Yeah, and I think, um, so Carmen and I are also parents, we're raising a three-year-old um, biracial son, and so um, even thinking about parenthood and the next generation in a way that it's not just about queer youth, but also the, our children who may grow up to be queer or not, but in a very progressive place like Colorado, still our family is not necessarily the norm that everyone sees, and so we do encounter some hurdles, and for the most part, um, I think Colorado is a great place to live as a queer family. Absolutely. And it's a great place to uh, host Creating Change. Yeah, so, for right. sure. Um, well, thanks for spending some, uh, spending some time with us. <laughs> it's been a long day for me, too, but not as long as you guys, yeah. because you guys were in there all day. Yeah. Um, so great work, and uh, thanks for taking some time out. Appreciate it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. We've got more here from Creating Change 2015 in Denver, so stay with us here on Task Force TV. Task Force TV, live from the 27th National Conference on LGBTQ Equality, creating change in Denver, Colorado.